All right, what is up party people? I am at home as I'm sure you guys are too because everyone is staying home. And I thought I would take this opportunity to jump on the bandwagon of everyone who is tie dyeing and bleach dyeing their clothes. So that's what we're gonna do today. We are bleach dyeing particularly. I am gonna do some tie dye outfits but I'm still waiting on my order customs or misguided whoever don't pay attention to the electrical situation we're gonna put our hood vent up this weekend hallelujah but we just put those shelves up this week and i think they look so good over there so things are coming along here but today we are diy some tie dyeing this is a great way to just like reinvent your closet and to be re-inspired by your clothes that you feel like have just gotten drabby and i also got some new pieces because i want to make some matching sweatsuits for me and the kids how cute is that gonna be so let me show you guys what i have going on it's kind of bad lighting um it's kind of bad lighting sorry i'm walking through all the parts of my house that have no lights on um the lighting's not that great back here where I have this stuff, so hopefully I can show you guys. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Okay, let me move all of these clothes and then I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so I just found a spot right here in front of the window. And so this is a shirt for George, a shirt for Zara. So that's just plain t-shirts and then I got them both a pair of black joggers these are all from walmart so i got both of them these what size are these 4t they just look long oh gosh and then my clothes are all old and crusty <laughs> like theirs look so new and mine looks so faded and old but that's okay i still think they're gonna look cute so okay so i have a pair of black sweatpants they say stay fresh right here they are from a brand fresh fresh life fresh i don't know i will link it down below but anyways um they're just plain black sweatpants basically but i was cleaning the bathtub and i ruined like the knees of these pants and i was so mad and then once this trend came out i was like I can fix them, I can make them look cute. So that's what I'm gonna try to do with these. Um, I also have another pair of sweatpants. I just noticed that they actually have bleach on them too right there, but I just don't like these sweatpants anymore and I just, I don't like wearing them. I don't like anything about them. So I thought maybe I can make them look better. I have a plain black t-shirt um, to match the kids. Mine's a v-neck. I might grab one that's not a v-neck, but for now, I'm just gonna do this one. Um, and then I have this black cropped um, sweatshirt. This is from H&M. And I was thinking that this would look really cute with the sweatpants, so I just wanted to kind of like make a set out of this. And then this is just, a, like look at, <laughs> this has already has like some, I think this is um, grout from my backsplash stuck on here. But anyway, um, this is just an old sweatshirt with Daniels and I thought it would be nice to have like a hoodie too to like, you know, t-shirt cropped, crew neck, t-shirt, did I say t-shirt, hoodie, <laughs> to go with the sweatpants, just to have options, and hopefully all these blacks don't look that different once they're, once they're bleach dyed, I don't know. And then I have a plain gray t-shirt, um, it's like a t-shirt dress, kind of, and I wanted to see what this would look like, um, because I hardly ever wear it, but I thought maybe I can make it look cute, and I just remembered that I also have a yellow shirt from the thrift store and a blue shirt a navy blue shirt from the thrift store i'm gonna go upstairs and grab them and i'm gonna do those too because you know i just i don't like them so i'm like reinvent you know reduce reuse recycle yes let's do it so i am going to start rubber banding all these up and then i will be back okay so it's looking like i might not be able to do all these clothes right now because this is how many rubber bands I have. I don't know if this is gonna be enough or not, but I'm gonna try to make it work. And I have a little helper. I have a little helper. Are you helping? I can no more. You're helping mommy? Bleach is too strong for you to be around, but you can help me with the rubber bands. Whoa!
Okay, you guys, so I am currently in my bathroom and I decided that the bathtub was gonna be the best place to do this because I could do it outside, but then I have to drag the wet bleach clothes all the way into my house and I didn't want to risk, you know, bleaching stuff that I don't wanna bleach. So here I am in the bathroom. I'm going to put all the stuff in the sink and then I'm gonna mix up the bleach mixture and I'll let you see that. Um, yeah, so we'll be right back. Okay. So we got all these in here, got the little baby ones. Where's the other little baby one? There's one more baby one. Oh, I love two little baby ones in the bag. Okay, so we have them all here. So let's make a mixture. So I've seen people do straight bleach, and then I've seen people do like half water half bleach. I'm gonna do one with half water half bleach and then I'm gonna do one that has less water um, because I don't love like the orange orange look. I'd rather it be a little bit lighter, lighter orange I guess than like the darker orange. So I wanna see if I can get some cool effects by using different ratios of bleach and water. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm using these bottles. They're just for like condiments. Got it at the grocery store. before I knock the whole thing over. Okay, so we got one. Okay, so we got our mixtures. Honestly, I can't tell the difference in color. Well, I kinda can. Very similar color but this one is stronger and I think you can tell all right you guys well it's time for the exciting part to get started so I'm going to take oh my god it's already changing cool okay let's get the pan It's possible that I will have to mix up some more. So I'm totally fine with that. Oof. Kids clothes. Oh my gosh, whoa, look at this. Okay, um, I'm just gonna go straight to the to the stronger one this is changing really fast and that was half power but like this color is the color that's not my favorite so we're gonna see what we come up with these are like changing exactly the same but i could tell that this sweatshirt is gonna look completely different this um no these pants okay these are pants this is the other sweatshirt over here it just looks different I should be wearing gloves. Pretty sure I should be wearing gloves. I also feel like I need to like flip them over. Sorry. Ooh, I gotta, I gotta mix up more. Okay, I'm gonna mix up more, but I'm just gonna do 50-50 ratio and then try to get these completely covered for, I don't know, like this shirt matches like those pants and then like these match. I don't know guys, this is pretty cool. Okay, let me mix up some more and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, here we go again. Wow, this color looks so cool. <gasps> okay, we're gonna put more on the sides and then I'm gonna flip them over. I literally just simply don't know where my gloves are, so that's a lie. I know where my gloves are, but I don't feel like getting them, so. The gray one's not doing anything. I'm not wasting any more bleach on that shirt. Ooh, guys. <laughs> it's getting hard to breathe. It's getting hard to breathe. Okay, let me flip them over. Oh, let me, oh. Whew, hold on, I gotta open the window. <sighs> Whew. 
Whew, deep breath. I feel like I'm gonna have to mix more still. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna mix one more. Okay, you guys, so I left out of the bathroom because that is strong. No one has been talking about, how, you cannot do this in the bathroom. Let me just tell you that right now. Go outside, go outdoors, or to a well-ventilated area because I was, my throat and my lungs was burning, was burning in there, they were burning and it just doesn't feel safe. I open the windows, open the door, but I can't even stand there to see what the stuff is doing because literally, like, I had to go to the window and take some deep breaths. Like, I ain't nobody trying to, trying to get bronchitis up in here. We just want to make some cute clothes. So, next time, definitely outside. It's, you can, maybe I could put it in, like, a big bucket or something to bring it back inside to, you know, or I could rinse it with the hose. Rinse it with the hose and then put in a bucket or like a bag, plastic bag, and just bring it to the wash because the bathroom is not it. I think something about it being in the tub and just the air, it's just when you lean over, don't do it. Learn from me, don't do not do that. But we're gonna check on them in a little bit. I might even put my face mask on at this point because that's just, whew, like, mm-mm. You can't do that. You cannot do that. Yo, that blue shirt looks so cool now. But I don't know. I'm kind of a little concerned about <laughs> my matching sweatsuits because they look a little weird, the color. But I'm going to rinse them out in a minute. Um, in a minute. Okay, you guys. So I have them mostly rinsed. Um... Not what I expected. I'm definitely gonna have to try out some different techniques because um, from what I saw, the crinkle technique was like what I liked the best, but maybe I just didn't execute it as good as I thought I did uh, because I'll show you. I think they look good, pretty good, but I just, I don't know. It's really exciting when things change though because like wait till you see like how some of the stuff turned out it's crazy. But I just think um, like the black stuff I dyed, like it didn't, it turned gray. I don't know. Y'all tell me what's going on because maybe y'all understand it better than I do, but let me show you. Okay, so this is, um, okay, you guys, so I finished the pieces. I washed them and I dried them, and this is the final result. I got, I have some pieces on right now, so I'm excited to show you guys how everything turned out and basically what I learned through this process. So, starting out, this is the first set that I did. If you guys remember, I originally wanted to put the cropped crew neck with these pants, but um, these pants and this sweatshirt actually happen to be the exact same material. So, it just these dyed the same. One thing I did learn is that just because something is the same color doesn't mean it's going to take to the bleach exactly the same way. So these ones actually match perfectly so I could pair them together. How I have been wearing it is by actually doing that thing. I'm sure y'all seen it on TikTok. You just tuck this uh, sweatshirt into your bra. I take the back and just kind of fold it and then I just stick it under my bra strap. And I've been wearing it like this around the house and it's definitely a lot cooler and I think that it looks really cute. Um, the sweatpants, I've actually been wearing them all day so they do kind of have like stretched out knees and I got some slides on. But I just wanted to show you guys, I thought it turned out cute. I will say, I wish that the tie-dye was like more, um, 
like a distressed look than like a splotchy look. It wasn't my favorite at first, but it definitely grew me and I've already got a lot of compliments and I haven't even left my house. So, um, I love it. So this is how it turned out. I'm going to actually like actually crop this and do like a scrunch, a scrunch crop. Cause I think that would just look so cute, but I love it from around the house. It's definitely not a very polished piece. I feel like the blacks were already kind of faded, so it's not like pow pow, but I still think it turned out really cute and um, most people who saw it thought that I bought it this way, so I'd say I did pretty good, um, if I do say so myself. So this is the first set. Okay, so this is the cropped crew neck sweatshirt from H&M. So this is what I originally wanted to put with these pants. Um, it's not super super cropped however you can see that the blacks are different and the dye didn't take the same this is a lot more crisp and dark the lines are more crisp and the way the pants died is just more like <laughs> i don't know how to explain it uh, but it just it just doesn't match so let me show you guys um this crew neck with different bottoms Okay, so here is how this crew neck looks just with a pair of jeans. Um, I still think it looks cute with jeans. Um, I would wear this, so I wish I got more dye in the front, but I didn't open them up because I wasn't in the bathroom because the smell was so strong that I just couldn't be in there. So I didn't like really double check to make sure I got all the spots, but I still think it looks cute. So, this is the crew neck. What next up is this V-neck t-shirt. Um, as you guys can tell, again, all this stuff processed for the same amount of time, and this shirt turned out completely different than the other black thing. So, um, how do I feel about this shirt? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I like it, I think. I'm kind of indifferent about it. Um, I just think that it could have been more distressed and less like blotch of bleach here, blotch of bleach there. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I could wear it. I'm just, I don't know if it's really me. So, I don't know. You guys want Okay, you guys, so this is the shirt that it was originally navy blue. Yes, it was originally navy blue. Um... I tried to do like that stripe look to it. Let me get closer. This shirt just didn't turn out exactly how I wanted. At first I was like, oh my gosh, it went from navy to like this cool like pink lemonade vibe. Like that's so cool. However, um, I think um, it just looks like a bloody rag. Like I think about those movies where um, like the guy, he goes into like a safe house and he's like fixing his wounds and changing his bandages. And this is the bandage that he took off because it was, it was a bloody bandage. It just looks, <laughs> it just looks kind of like that. So now I'm just like, I don't even think this is cute. I don't even, I don't know if I could actually wear this and feel good about myself. Now, you know how you like, think of something and you can't unsee it? That's how I feel about this shirt. This is the shirt that was originally yellow. Um, I don't know if you guys can see with the lighting, but I was telling y'all <laughs> that this shirt just looks like somebody peed on it. Let me take the lighting away so maybe you can see it a little bit better, but it just has a couple of splotches of color. I'm thinking that it might look cuter cropped. Yeah, I think this would look cuter kind of like cropped i just think that like it's not enough of the tie-dye effect to the shirt um i may tie-dye over this with actual dye because i like the fit of this shirt i just don't like how it looks like i was holding my child and they just peed and i just let it dry because that's that's not that's that's not a look that's absolutely not a look so i mean i think if i crop this one and then maybe dyed over it with something maybe i'll do that um i do plan on doing another video where i'm actually dying dying not like actual tie dye not bleach dye and i'm hoping it goes better because as you guys can see this was low-key a fail 
low key. And the sweatsuit turned out cute. Um, the crew neck turned out kind of cute. Don't even get me started on these pants. Let me show you the pants. Let me show you. Okay, so, I mean, no, I don't like these. I mean, my figure looks cute, but I don't like the pants. Like, I don't like the way these pants look. I think I might just make them into little shorts and call it a day. That, <laughs> y'all know that's a little unflattering, bro. I just, ugh. something about this leg just makes me cringe. <sighs> All right, I gotta take these off. I'm sorry, y'all. I, do, I don't know what it is about these pants. Y'all let me know if you like them, but something about the way these pants look just, don't give me good vibes but i'm thinking that some really cute little shorts might actually be the thing to do that might be the thing to do but something about these is just not sitting right with me as a full pair of pants i think it's just doing too much i think it's just too much down the whole leg because it's like more contrasty whereas like these sweatpants it's like they're basically black and gray. So they're just darker and more muted. And these are like, pow, pow. Pow, 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 pow. That's what I feel like with these pants on. So, oh, I forgot to mention the kids of clothes. How could I forget? So the kids clothes turned out really cute. Their stuff matches mine, but it, uh, it looks more like the crew neck vibe of mine, but both of their pieces match each other. So I'm gonna show you guys some footage of us. <laughs> Little matching family, except Daniel. I didn't get Daniel a sweatsuit um, because Walmart didn't have any sizes for men because everyone's been buying them up to do stuff like this. So I wasn't able to get it for him, but me and the kids were matching and it was so cute. So I have to show y'all that. But yeah, guys, let me change the angle. Okay, you guys, well, that is the end of this video. I definitely learned some things. I need to work on my technique because something about however I dyed these clothes didn't give me, I'm gonna insert like a picture of what I was going for and you'll see that this is just more of a splotchy vibe and then a distress vibe. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I can get that vibe that I'm, that I'm going for. But um, all in all, it was fun. The smell, you guys, don't forget about the smell. You cannot just be in the bathroom with your head in the tub thinking you're gonna be fine. It's not gonna be fine. That stuff, that junk is strong, girl. You need to go outside, go outside. That's all I can say. Um, but yeah, you guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. Um, I'm gonna try it again, I think, probably off camera, but if you guys follow me on Instagram, you should, then you'll be able to see. I'll post it up there if I do it again. I finally got a new phone, so I can finally post on Instagram, so hallelujah for me. So, and, and y'all, I guess. Um, but definitely keep up with me on there, and you'll see. Um, if I do it again, I'll post like an IGTV video or a highlight on my story or something like that of me trying it again. Um, but it will be outside, I'll tell you that right now, because, um, child, no. <laughs> nah, 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 Enough, enough of me rambling on about who knows what. Um, I love y'all, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I plan on coming consistent this summer. I have plans, I have big plans, for I know I have, what am I trying to say? For I know the plans I have for me and this channel. And we're finna get it done on this channel because, like, it's just been so much going on. I don't want to get into it. I have some stuff planned, though. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video.